miles offshore. We've already gone a couple miles. 46.5 left. One more hour of driving. We're out here still in this ugly water, folks. We're trying to maintain positions real hard. I'm bumping the grunt, huh? Bumping the motor ahead and the trolling motor's running. Keep the trolling motor from shutting down. like another black sea bass yeah it might be big enough got a little bit of drag going on ah, another flounder another paper flounder Another paper flounder. All right, one more drop down, then we're going to go over to half north. And if we can't do it there, we'll go to East 11. If we can't do it there, we'll go to 6, Reef 6. <laughs> Work our way back. I hate leaving here because this is, we're in the spot where we can catch some nice triggers. Only the wind would slow down. The one thing we don't want to do is wear these batteries down or we won't have any fishing time at all. Now they said two to threes, but later in the day, but came earlier. All right, here we go. Okay, boys and girls, we have left 15 off the mound, which is about 30 miles out. We could not stop anywhere in between. These are the smallest waves we found. And we are at a spot called Ribble Ridge. I've caught a couple grunts and John's caught a little red snapper. So we are catching something. This is the first time I've ever caught anything here. I've fished here before without any luck. You didn't have me with you. I didn't have, have Lucky Big John with me. What you got? You got another red snapper, a nice size one even. Golly, and all I'm catching grunts. You're my hero again, Big John. Yeah, this water is looking nice and clear too. Oh God, it's nice. This is on a uh, a hunk of uh, middle section of a grunt, John. Come on. See what you be. Finally, I'm glad we finally found some natural area we could fish in today. Wow. It is a to pickle. It's a to pickle red snapper. Look at there. Biggest red snapper of the day so far. They're everywhere, they're everywhere. It's a nice one, it's about 18 inches, I'd say. Let's circle looking inside of the lip. Okay. We're at 83 feet of water. Water temperature is 69.7. It was 76 out there. And there's some nice fish down here, folks. Look at that. Rebel Ridge. Huh. 
Kind of surprising. Kind of surprising. I love it. Got a nice hit on this sardine. Oh, I think we got him. We got him. Oh, got another one on this line. Yeah, we're in the money now. We're in the money now. We only catch something that we can keep. That'd be great. Instead of, you know, these guys. But it's fun catching, you know, these guys. Red snapper. Rosie. That's Rosie. It's not a red snapper. Change that bait. Nope, nope. Nothing, honey. Young guy's um. Look at that, it's a red snapper. Oh boy. Yeah, I got a Sasquatch at the end here. Chewing on this blue runner. Come on. Come on, Sasquatch. There's some nice fish here, it's really surprising. I fished here a couple times before, not caught a thing. There, there's a nice fish right there. Ah! Got it, John. You got him? Got him this time. Oh. He's a big one. I'm going to try to keep him out of the rocks. Big one. He's a big one. You want me to get that in line up? Uh, sure. Uh, the price. <laughs> Let's see what this is. I got a feeling it might be the biggest red snapper. So this fighting is like a red snapper. Come on. But it's a big one. What'd I tell you? Look at there. Big old red snapper, Lane. Big old red snapper. I'd say it's about a 22 incher. I'm gonna stick this in. Thank you, sir. Yep. Caught him in the top of the lip. Oh, he's got some meat on him. He's heavy. Whew. Look at there. That's a big red snapper. He's in shallow water. That's all right, man. Hey, man, that's all right, man. Right on here. <laughs> mm. I make me a candy bar, folks. No, I should say a protein bar. In case this is a red snapper. Not a big one. But one. This is on the old grunt tail. Then he just coughed out. He's a good size one. Come on, John, you're falling behind. I'm up there just dinking around. Some fish, I wouldn't have to fuss at you. What you got? That doesn't look too big. Oh, well, big enough to be a red snapper. Yep, another red snapper. Boy, loaded out here. Big John's got something with bones in it. Wow, what do you know? A red snapper. Big John hooks up again. I think he's catching up. So far it's been, oh, look at that. A black sea bass. That's the first other than a grunt and a red snapper we've caught here. That might be 12 and a half inches, John. Let's measure them up. You won't do it because you're special. I'm gonna watch you do it too. I'm gonna watch you do it. You 
if I get the skunk out of the boat. Twelve and a half. Twelve and three quarters almost. Uh, uh. Ooh, what was that? What was that? What was that? Oh man. Actual tail cut off. Man, I had a monster on a on a grunt tail. I don't know what it was. Huh. All right, John just threw a banana peel in. Let me see if we got any fish here. Oh, I think I got. I got the bottom, or I got something took me in a hole. I caught that bottom. Not much action. There we go. Muttering under the breath, but might have been swearing. You don't swear. We don't swear in this boat. Not in the boat. I don't swear out of the boat. Outside the boat. <laughs> I made a total yep. Look at there. He ate the ate the tail off. Yeah. Let's go back down there and see if he gets the whole thing now. I think that's a winner. That's going to be 13 on the nose. 13 on the nose. You wait and see. Big John hooks up. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a keeper sea bass. Black sea bass. We're drift fishing now. Like I said, 13 and an eighth, almost 13 and a half. Woo! Skunk's out of the boat for Big John now. Well, that's a long in between skunk outs, isn't it? It is. Yep. Yeah, show sure is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Black sea bass. Yeah, yeah, that's on the other line here. We were drift fishing and we're kind of still drift fishing, but looks like the anchor finally caught something on the bottom. So we, we were going to go in, but we'll just stay here for a while. Now that we've got the anchor caught on something. Total motor batteries died. What do you know? Look at that mutton. Give me a magic marker, John, and I'll make this into a mutton. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. There's a nice, nice snapper. I think I just caught this big cobia. Yep, 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 yep. Doesn't feel like a cobia, though. <laughs> this is way up in the column, about halfway down, maybe 40 feet. And I think I know what it is. It feels like it. Same old, same old, but a nice one. Locust fish. This is on a sardine, John. Yep, look at there, big old boy. It was supposed to be a cobia, but he's a red snapper instead. I had some spray paint, I might be able to. Nah. Come on. Let me let you go. There you go. Okay, Lord, that was fun. Boy, they cannot resist these sardines. It's like cotton candy to a kid in a carnival. Come on. So I can let you go. Yeah. Another nice one, John. Another mangrove snapper. Goodbye. I got enough mangroves. Well, it looks like Big John might be going to catch the last 
red snapper of the day. So we're about ready to head in. While I'm at it, let me wish happy birthday to Brandon Metz. Brandon Metz, and there's a red snapper. Brandon, we're gonna name that name them that. That's a Brandon Metz red snapper. Brandon. Happy birthday, <laughs> Brandon. A Brandon Metz red snapper. I know, there's hardly any red snapper out here. <laughs>